you here because uh, I'm much more much more dry this, <laughs> much more dry and boring than Pasqualina. So good morning, guys. It's the 28th of November, day two, week zero, cohort eight. I uh, just want to open it up to the floor to the team to see if there's any announcements to make. So Rodas, Pascaline, uh, MT Nan, Remet, are there any announcements that we want to make? Any announcements from the team? Going once, going twice? No, we're going to recap the announcements at the end of it. So good morning, everyone. Uh, so we're going to run the stand-up like a normal team uh, stand-up. So what we're going to do is ask for volunteers really quickly, just uh, no more than 15 to 30 seconds. Uh, we'd like to know what you got done yesterday, what you plan to do today, and any blockers. Today is going to be very much like yesterday in that we'll have one technical challenge. We're going to be mixing in a careers challenge as well. So this week is going to be technical plus careers challenges. But let's use the hand raising function. So please put your hands up. I'm going to take people in order. Uh, if you want to uh, contribute, but your uh, connection is not good enough, feel free to type in the chat box. And the questions are, how was yesterday? What did you get done? What are your plans for today? And any blockers, things that we can help to unblock. Uh, just before we get started, I wanted to share the submission stats we had. Um, we think the numbers of submissions are pretty good. Uh, could be higher. And so for those of you who's experienced some challenges, maybe uh, you weren't able to get things working, we recognize and we apologize for the 10x system taking a little while to get up. As we said, and we'll continue to say, we're in permanent beta, so we're going to keep adjusting things. But for those of you who weren't able to submit, you can still submit today. Um, that doesn't mean that lateness won't be assessed for people who submitted on time. Of course, uh, that's an advantage. But uh, if you have taken today and were able to figure things out and understand how things go, do submit today. It's not. Uh, it's by no means too late. So let's. So Karat says he or she can't hear me. Uh, I don't know if that's me. Uh, Pascaline, can you hear me? Yes, you I can, can hear, hear you okay. clearly. Okay, very good. Okay, so Rudolf, that's a good question. Let's take that for the end, or you can ask that question when you give us your daily stand-ups. Let's put our hands up or let's type, just like to hear, uh, how was yesterday? What did you get done? Um, and your reflections, if you want, plans for today, and then any blockers. So no more, 15 to 30 seconds should be enough. We want to get as many people as possible. All right, Rudolf, you're up first. You can just keep queuing up. Uh, People can queue up their, their hands. Okay, go ahead, Rudolf. Oh, okay. Um, go ahead. Okay, my name is Rudolf Segbeji, as you, you can see. Um, I'm from uh, West Africa in the New Republic. Bonjour. So, yeah, yesterday was a very exciting. First of all, let me uh, thank you, Arun and the whole team of the 10 Academy. Yeah. <laughs> so yesterday was very exciting and uh, we did good as we can. I can say we did very great, but we did good. Uh, and uh, uh, we had some challenges. Uh, we tried to, with the, the, the team members, we tried to figure out, but there are some working points at my level and um, that's why I was asking that question, if the tasks are related, because if you, the tasks are related and we didn't really complete the first one, it will be very difficult to follow and mm -hmm. to continue the, the, the next task. That's why Absolutely. I was asking that question. Absolutely. Okay. So first, thank you. I think let, let's keep it short so that we don't spend a lot of time. Um, we, we appreciate that you're here, so you don't have to thank us. We can also thank you. So let's keep it. Uh, let's just keep it short and quick. So, um, so Rudolf, your question was. Uh, so I think yesterday was okay. Uh, your plan for today, I didn't hear. And your question was, or any blocker, what happened if you didn't finish yesterday's task? So if there's anyone, so you should ask the question. How did you? This is where I am, and this is where I'm blocked. And I saw a lot of really good uh, support and feedback from the community yesterday. So Rudolf, if you're blocked, write a clear message to say this is where I'm blocked. I need help. And uh, I'm convinced that somebody will come and help you. And if somebody doesn't, 
then I'd like you to tag Emtinan or Remet, and they're two of the tutors that we have on the team, and they are going to come and help you. So you need to find a solution. That's exactly what we said. We're not, this is active learning. You will be able to catch up, and you can use the support from the tutors or other members of the team. Let's go to Yvonne. Hello, everyone. My name is Yvonne. So yesterday, I was able to clone the repo and shift the functions to the loader.py. I got a blocker when importing the data set. If somebody could kindly help me in that, I would be happy. Thank you. Wonderful. Perfect update. Great. Thank you. Uh, Yvonne, I would ask you to put that message into day two on Slack with a clear, this is what I was able to get done. This is where I'm blocked. Can somebody help me? That way we can also follow up with the tutors. If somebody, so I would also uh, request, listen to what other people present in terms of their update. And if somebody was able to get all the way, reach out to that person and ask him or her for help. Mubarak? Hello, everyone. Thank Good you morning. for the opportunity. Uh, yesterday, I was able to configure uh, the environment uh, to do the project. Uh, I have cloned the repo and uh, create a branch and commit some changes. And also, uh, I try to figure out uh, non-plotting functions that, are, that have to be moved to the loader and utils file. And today I'm planning uh, to work on to load the data and uh, solve the task one challenge. Wonderful. OK, who's next? So there are no more hands up in the queue. So we want to use up at least half an hour. So we'd love to hear your updates. It's an important part of uh, preparing for the world of work. When you guys get into work, you're going to have to present updates to your team. So it's good to practice now. Whoopshit. Okay. Am I audible, guys? Yeah, we can hear you well. Please go ahead. Okay, so uh, for yesterday, I was working on the first task, so I was setting up my GitHub, and uh, yeah, I have cloned the repo, and I have uh, gone through the codes. Yeah, so for today, I'm planning on to work on the first task, uh, trying to understand EDA stands for and what everything, what the task holds. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you. All right, perfect. Thank you. No, and I assume there are no blockers. So that's now two people, Mubarak and Wupshet, who have uh, made progress. So for Rudolf and for Yvonne, those are, you should, at least, you have at least two people uh, that you can answer, you can reach out to. All right, Kulani. And again, apologies, I'm going to be saying Hi. your name incorrectly, but Kulani, over to you. That's fine. Hi, can you hear me? Very well. Okay, so I did complete the assignment yesterday and submitted it. Uh, cloning the Git was the more or less the easier part, and I'm going to read on the EDA. Thank you. All right, perfect. Thank you. Uh, we have Mikias. Can you hear me? Very well. Okay, yesterday I cloned the repo and I tried to navigate the code. And after that, I installed all the necessary dependencies. I also installed Conda and I went through some, and I also downloaded the data. So today I'll be working on the data to trying to figure out what it is, where I can get from the data using different libraries. So there is no blockers that I have faced. This is my update. Wonderful, thanks. Uh, Basilel. Uh, hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Very well, yeah. Uh, all right. So, as most of them said, I, uh, I set up the environment and I, uh, I, I moved the data. I, I moved, I modularized my code basically uh, so that my notebook was clear and tried to understand the data and uh, did a basic EDA. Uh, hopefully, today I'll do more, uh, more of an intensive EDA in trying to understand the data and to what I can do with it uh, going forward. That's my idea. Okay, great. Uh, we have Karad next. Karad? Uh, good morning, guys. Morning. 
Yeah, for me, uh, I have set up the, my, my Git and clone the necessary uh, repo. Uh, I also have downloaded the data and gone through some of the data. The, but I have uh, encountered some bugs in the given uh, repo. So I have I have been trying to de debug that uh, code and I've succeeded in debugging some of the, some of the codes, but I have still some tasks to do. So the, for today, I am uh, going to debug the rest of the code and hopefully perform the ADS successfully for all the channels. Currently, I'm only uh, performing the EDA for specific channels. I have not been able to apart from the ADA on all the channels to all together. So that's my plan. Okay. Yeah, wonderful. So we're really happy you guys are finding bugs in the code. Yebabel mentioned that that would be happening. And uh, lo and behold, it happens. Don't hesitate for anyone who's finding bugs just to document what you're finding. When we talk about own work, um, it absolutely means that you're still allowed to say, this is what I'm doing. This is what I found. Has anyone else found the problem? This is how I solved it. Uh, what we will see and what you guys, everyone who stays with us, will see is that we want to move uh, as fast as the fastest person. So it means that anyone who's struggling, you know who to reach out to for help. And for those of you for whom this is uh, straightforward, there's uh, always more that can be done. So don't hesitate to share. This is how far I've gotten. We know that there's a range of speeds here. So yeah, if you're struggling, ask for help. If you're far ahead and you've uh, found maybe a more advanced challenge, it's uh, great to document that. It's one of the mindset shifts that we want to get away from. This is not a competition. This is rather uh, we're we all. Uh, it sounds kind of funny, but we will all want to win together. Belete. Okay. Thank you. I'm happy to be part of this uh, training and. Uh, Yesterday, I tried to just uh, arrange my environment and also just uh, introduce myself to that. But my question is that, uh, can I use uh, Anaconda with a Jupyter uh, notebook? Oof, I, MT Nan, I think you're on the call. I'm going to hand over to you because I don't know. Uh, OK, can you repeat the question again? My question is that, can I use a, a Jupyter uh, a notebook uh, in Anaconda to just work on? Uh, yes, uh, um, I think you can, yes. Uh, yeah, the answer is yes, I think. Um, because you can, uh, like, once you install, you can install mm -hmm. Jupyter with Anaconda, or it comes with Python, basically. Okay. So you should be able to do that. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we have uh, Nuria. Nuria Nigus, can you hear me? Yeah, very well. So from Sergey's presentation, I used it to uh, set up my necessary uh, apps like Python, Git, and also uh, arrange my own GitHub repository. And I clone the files that you uploaded. And also, uh, I have downloaded the data that you have shared before, and also uh, I rearranged uh, the code tree, uh, like I improved formatting and adding comments for better readability, I just function and variable name, uh, just for clarification, just uh, to see uh, if someone reads my code, he will be uh, clearly seeing that uh, file. And also I moved the command line agreements and the main execution to the bottom, just for clear separation between the configuration and the execution logic. Uh, this was what I did uh, for the file this is that you gave to me. Thank you. Okay, any blockers? No, no, no blockers. Wonderful. Okay, let's hear from some of the women in the group. Um, so Alptel has already uh, responded in writing. That's great. Uh, I'm looking through the names to see who could be some of the women in the group because uh, we'd love to hear from how you're doing as well. I know we've had some women speaking but uh so which can you put your hand up we'd like to hear from some of the the women applicants or women trainees just put your hand up please 
Abraham, you're unmuted. If you could mute, please. We can hear uh, sort of moving around. Thank you. Uh, Abre says, uh, I suppose she had a problem with the Git configuration. Abre, are you able to unmute and give us a little bit more detail? Iman, yeah, Iman, you can put your hand up and uh, give us your update. Diraba as well. Can we hear from you? Uh, can we hear some voices? Abre, Iman, Diraba. Ekram, yeah, Ekram, please go ahead. Hello, everyone. Okay. Uh, going to my update, yesterday I was able to set up all the environment and finish the tasks related to Git. Yet, while dealing with the EDA, I was facing a bug and I'm trying to solve it. Wonderful. Okay. Don't hesitate to ask, uh, ask in Slack if you have any questions around the EDA. Um, <laughs> Lillian, Lillian sounds like a female name. Lillian, can you give us your update? I'm just guessing based on names, so I apologize if I get them wrong. So we'll go to Shine while we're waiting for Lillian. Um, good morning. Good morning. I just want to ask a correction regarding the yesterday tasks. For me personally, I'm still facing some difficulties to submit to the tax D1. I want to know if there's any kind of um um should I put it any kind of way I can is there any, is can I still be able to submit it after finishing with the tax? Is there yes. any, is the deadline the deadline or I can still submit later on? Well, I mean, the if you submit on time, it's to your advantage. But much better than submitting nothing is to actually submit. We want to get as much information as possible. We recognize day one is day one. So, yeah, please do submit. Absolutely. Yeah, that's fine. We recognize there's it's still day one. So we understand. Yeah. For those of you who are here in 2021, uh, we learned our lesson because day one was first day plus we asked people to do a huge amount of work and that didn't work so well. So yeah, I think day one is still light. There's absolutely time to catch up. Yeah. All right, so we're seeing Lillian's message. She's typed. Iman, please go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very yes, well. Sir, How are you? Fine. It's Saturday. I uh, clone my repository and I uh, make the virtual environment Conda, but I didn't submit because I was week uh, zero batch six. I found my assignment page from last year. Yeah. So the team is working on that. So we recognize that we're not going to. We will consider that. So we apologize. We're still in beta. We're still learning as well. So yes, thank uh, you. We'll Today figure that I, out. I hope to uh, submit task one, and I uh, I work with the team in Slack. Thank you very much, Aaron. Wonderful. Thank you, Iman. Uh, Mary Lynn. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Yes, so yesterday I was able to set up my environment and create my new repo and clone it also. And today I plan to work on restructuring functions and performing EDA, but I have some blocks at this step. Okay, do you want to tell us about your blockers or do you want to ask on Slack? Yeah, uh, how to manage functions and starting performing the ETA. Okay, Mtidan, do you want to take it here? Or do you want to deal with it uh, in the Slack group? Uh, sorry, I missed that. Uh, can you can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Okay, no, so uh, I yeah. said that I have some blocks uh, when working on the functions and performing ETA. Uh, okay, so if you have a particular blocks, uh, please uh, maybe you can write them on the Slack. You can like share the particular code that is causing the problem or whatever error you're getting. 
or um, if the problem is with the code. Um, okay. So that's all. Thank you. Marilyn, I'll also say you've heard that some of your colleagues are making good progress. Uh, so for those people who, maybe I can just ask for a show of hands here, people who are already ahead, put your hand up if you're ready to be asked. Or you can use the your thumbs up sign or put, let's use the thumbs up sign. If you're happy for people to ask you questions, if you're happy for people to slack you and just say, I'm a bit stuck, can you send us? So we have Ekram, we have Abby, we have Abby again. Uh, we have Mubarak. So those are people that anyone who's having trouble, we have Abel Mesele, Hego Skerle, Khalid Mohammed, Mickey, uh, Mare, Ezra, Timothy. So these are all people, anyone who's struggling, reach out to these people and just, you can tag them in the public group in Slack and say, hey, I have a question. And they've said they're happy to answer your questions. Kemaria, Kemaria Ahmed Yassin, Matias Abdisa. So, Anyone who's having trouble, that's a list of people that you can reach out to for help. Uh, wonderful, okay, who's next? Uh, Kemaria? Okay, can you hear me? Very well, yeah. Now, okay, for the day one, I successfully completed task one, that is cloning and making a repository and also making the branch and I'm still working on the ETA. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, who's next? We have uh, Pfizer Tech. I don't know if that's a name or a business. I'd love to have a last name, Tech. Pfizer? Good morning, can you hear me, sir? I can hear you very well. Is, is your last name actually Tech? <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, it takes automatically from the Google site, actually. It's not my last name. My last okay. name is, yeah, my last name is Rashid. Ah, okay. Rashid. Okay. Yeah, actually, yesterday I was working, I, I missed the class session. Uh, but uh, later on in the evening, I just uh, tried to roll into it. Yeah. And I tried to settle the GitHub. I was already having. So I tried to settle the task one, but uh, I missed the some of the tasks that I could not uh, fix and that I could not uh, settle the environment into the GitHub and I uploaded the assignment. I hope uh, that was incomplete. And that's the reason like I was asking that I want to uh, recycle it again and I request you to allow me to submit some of the tasks today so that I can uh, do it now. Yeah. Yeah, as mentioned, uh, if anyone had trouble yesterday, you can submit. We, of course, know when uh, submission times, so people who submitted on time, it's obviously better, uh, for, but it's not, uh, you should keep working, do submit, uh, it's fine. I mean, we'll, it will be considered as part of the overall assessment. As mentioned yesterday, what we're aiming to do is to judge or to predict who's most likely to be successful in the period of time that we have. It's one piece of information, but absolutely, please do submit, please do continue. Thank you. Thank you for encouragements. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, anyone else? Uh, we have lots of people. We have uh, Meli Kamu. Yes. Can you hear me? Very well. Yeah. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm Meli Kamu. Uh, so I have cloned the report shared by the team uh, and made some commit changes uh, in addition. I have practiced some Git commanders so that I, I will be familiar with the Git commanders. Uh, of course, I have submitted the task one challenges. There was uh, uh, challenges push when, push, when I push the uh, uh, repos. But uh, thanks for Slack committee or the team so that uh, I can, I'm able to submit that. And I'm working on EDA. Thank you. Okay, great. We have uh, five minutes left. We're going to keep the last two minutes for announcements uh, because I think we can wrap up uh, earlier. But yeah, let's get the last uh, five people to give their updates. Then we'll uh, go to announcements and then we'll I think we're done for the stand up. So it can be anyone, it doesn't just have to be women. So, Kalki done? Hello, am I audible? Very well, yeah. Please go ahead. Good morning. Morning. So yesterday I've 
clone the GitHub repository and I've been able to submit the link at the specified time. Uh, however, I've been pretty much overwhelmed, uh, didn't know where to start with task one. So I guess with the help of other participants, I will be able to overcome this challenge and keep on running. Thank you. Great. Yeah, I think this feeling of overwhelmed is natural and it's something you should push away. We're going to, we we have a structure in place, even if it may not seem apparent, we're going to make sure that you're going to be able to get there. So for everyone who's feeling overwhelmed, just let the group carry you along. Anyone else? We have lots of people typing, which is great. Uh, Baruch? Hi, Tim. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, um... I have set up by the my GitHub, and um, I have faced the same blockers as Alkidan. I don't know where to start with task one. I'm just I just downloaded the data and created the branch, and that's where I'm stuck right now. Okay, perfect question to ask on Slack. We have a lot of people who have said they've already started, so why not ask on Slack? Tag some of those people and just ask them where should I get started. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul Rahman. So I'm. I definitely said that one wrong. Abdul Rahman, or there's no e. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, very well. Good morning. Okay, my name is Abdul Rahman. Uh, yesterday I a little bit lost. I the I saw. Sorry, my English is is a little bad. Uh, no, your English is great. I can understand you perfectly. I learned, thank you. Uh, I learned some new concept like get, uh, push, pull, and Python environment. And I think that is uh, a lot for me, but I'm struggling to understand these concepts. I, uh, I'm doing my best, and then I will load the data, submit my repo. Very good. Any uh, any blockers? Uh, do you know who? So let me ask you a different question. Do you know who you can ask for help when you're stuck? Uh, I just ask for in in the Slack. I'm not. Uh, I don't know who's the best people to ask, but I just uh, put my questions, and sometimes I find good answers. Okay, I'm gonna ask uh, again. So people who are willing to be asked for help, can you give us a thumbs up? Use the Google Meet function. Give us a thumbs up. And Abdul Rahman, I'd like you to just take a note of three of those names. And those are people that you can ask okay, for Okay, yeah. So do you see those thumbs up be... up the screen? Yes. Uh, so those are people great. you can ask for help. Just tag them on Slack, and they're, they've are they already said they're willing to help you. On In terms of okay, your English, so I think your English you. is very good. And what I would encourage you is you have to you have to put your hand up and speak every day because we want to get you ready for the world of work. And part of working is not sitting at home and just coding. That's part of it. But it's also the communication. So if you practice every day, and I know my English is maybe difficult to understand, but if you practice every day, you'll be amazed at the progress that you will make. I'm very okay, happy to hear you. from you. And your English is better than my Arabic. That's for sure. Thank you very much. Yeah, OK. Berahan? Mm. OK, hello, everyone. Good morning. Um, yesterday was a bit of a thing. Uh, I really experienced it, how much it, it can be really intensive. Um, at first, like I cloned the, the repo and then uh, extract the data and add it, add it into the folders. And then like when I try to run the files, I get an error when using like the word cloud package. Like it's incompatible with the Python version 3.1 plus. Uh, it was in the documentation, and then it was a really <laughs> bit of a struggle. I have to try to build a lot of things, and then couldn't find a way. So the only way to move forward was to comment it out, and then proceed with the rest. So try to I try to understand what the actual data is, and then what are the commonalities, and then afterwards how to proceed, and then get the questions in there for the task one to get like top ten users by their um let's say replies or insights kind of a thing so i tried to, to do that so that was it that was it <laughs> that was on the day thank you excellent okay thank you kibret
Que Brad Zedu. Hello. Good Can morning. Can you hear me? Yeah, well, I can hear you. Good morning, well. everyone. Good morning. Uh, thank you. Uh, yesterday I was installing the uh, software and I was configuring uh, uh, my op I just yesterday I installed uh, Ubuntu and other software uh, setups uh, and I forked and cloned the project, uh, startup project. But uh, and also, I <coughs> uh, I have exercised the GitHub commands, but I, I couldn't be able to uh, start the project. And uh, I'm a little bit confused where to start uh, my task, which file I have to start first. Uh, I didn't get that much time uh, because of the, some of the problem was. Yesterday night, I was not having a stable internet connection because of this one. I didn't start my project for today. I'm just start, uh, st starting as a. Yeah. OK, Kibret, if you have questions, I think we've seen there's a number of people that you can ask those questions to. They've indicated their willingness to be a resource. So yeah. you can ask in Slack. You have, uh, we have the tutoring team as well. So I think there's, you're very well covered. Yeah, thank you. But I, uh, if you are in the tutorial, if you just give us some uh, uh, hint or if you explain where to start for us, especially for uh, beginners. Yeah, but I you know, know what? what so this, this is we we remember when you get to the world of work, your boss is not going to tell you what to do. Your boss is going to mm -hmm. tell you what he or she wants to get. Right? It's like when you get into a taxi, you don't tell the driver how to drive. You say, I want to go to this restaurant. Now okay. the driver needs to learn. So this is where okay. you need, to, this is the act of learning. When you get, and believe me, when you get to the world of work, your boss will say, I want this. And your boss doesn't care if you have the wrong version installed or you don't understand or the data has a problem. All of that will happen. You need to find Thank a you. solution. So it's, this is why we're forcing you to practice now. Practice here in a safer environment so that when you get to the world of work, you're able to figure it out. That okay. uh, work ethic, that curiosity, the helping each other, these are the things that we'll always come back to. And these are the things that when you're used to it, when it becomes easy, um, when you jump over this and you say, actually, you know what? I didn't know what to do and I tried five things and one of them worked. That's, that's, it's that mindset that we think is most important. OK, thank you. Yeah. I know it's hard. Yeah. Uh, but you have you have the the big advantage that you have is you have a community of people plus tutors who are here. They have nothing else to do, I suppose, uh, other than to help. So just ask. And people have repeatedly okay. said they're willing to help. Okay, okay. Daniel? Thank you. Hello everyone. Good morning. Uh, this is Daniel from Ethiopia. So let me just start from my feeling for, on my yesterday. I enjoyed the meeting we had in our first day, especially on the introduction and the, on the EDA. I also completed the Python installation and environmental setup. And I cloned the starter code from the repo you provided us. And I created a new repo on my GitHub account. and push the starter code with the two branches, branch main and branch main testing. So uh, it was like more of preparing myself in this uh, journey. So my today's plan is I'm going through the EDA document you shared us. So I'm gonna do research about it and I plan to complete the task you, you will give us for day two. This is... Uh, is your is your name actually Dev, like developer? No, my name is Daniel uh, Gush. Ah, okay. Yeah, I thought I'm waiting for someone whose last name is AI or GPT. I think that's <laughs> going to come next. Okay. All right. Thanks, Daniel. Uh, so last two are Dorcas and then Anania. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Dorcas from Kenya. So um, yesterday was quite overwhelming, and I think what brought that to me, 
basically was just not understanding the assignment. But when I asked for help and I sort of got a breakdown of what ideally I'm supposed to do, it sort of made it sort of made the process easier. So I was able to do the first task successfully and also um, transfer the functions from Passlack to Loader. Um, currently, um, I, I'm experiencing an error, which I'm hoping to uh, figure out, and also, I'm also planning on asking it on Slack. And yeah, it, it's encouraging when you when you like get something right, and it pushes you to sort of want to figure out the next tasks and how to do them. Yeah, thank you. Wonderful, sounds good. Thanks, Dorcas. And last, we have Anania. Hello, am I audible? Yeah, we can hear you. Hello, I am Ananya from Ethiopia. Um, yesterday, uh, I was able to create a virtual environment as we were asked to do so. And I also have flown the Git repository and differentiated the networking functions. Uh, and we organized my repository by uh, moving all networking functions from the parse Slack data to Loderfy and it is Slack. Uh, uh, but I really had difficulty Fine with the, the EDA as well as I was not very much uh, familiar with it, so it would be very helpful uh, if uh, we were given some explanatory details. Yeah, I think that'll be you. Can, I think that'll be part of today's tutorial, starting with EDA. Okay, wonderful. Uh, okay, we have. <laughs> So I'm going to end with Mechdes, just in case of, uh, just to keep to time. Mechdes? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. It was a confusing day for me last, uh, uh, last day. I tried to set up the environment well, and it was successful. But while doing some... Uh, uh, while running some calls, I just got a lot of bugs, which is new to me. And uh, the task gave me a big opportunity for me to understand what the Python uh, bugs are and how to fix them. And it really teaches me how to be specific to the problems that I faced and get the answer right away. I think that's what I learned. And uh, reading the instruction well is so helpful. That's what I learned mostly because uh, at the beginning I was confused where to start and I was looking for Slack messages and some, were, some of them were doing way far from me. So I just learned that. Thank you. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so I think I'm going to hand over to Rodas for announcements and then we can wrap up. But the summary uh, that I'm hearing is that I think there's, uh, as Mekta said, there's a range of there's a range of progress, but the people uh, who are there's a number of people who are willing to help, and I think that formation of the community of people who want to help others to teach uh, to teach them now, because I can guarantee you, there'll be everyone has something to teach each other. So a range of range of progress, number of people uh, were able to submit. There's some people who had some technical issues including those related to the 10x platform. We're going to work on those. Um, but it sounds like an excellent first day. Really looking forward to a good second day. Um, for all of you who are confused, the fact that you're here today is a great sign, because I think our process is uh, to continue to allow you to figure out how to unconfuse yourself. So I'll, with no, without further ado, uh, so Hussein asks, the tutors can identify themselves in the Slack community. Yeah, you should look for people who have a tutor after their name. Right now we have two. We have uh, M.T. Nan Osman and we have Remet. I, I don't know how to say her last name. Uh, so we have Remet and M.T. Nan. And uh, by week uh, one, we expect to have uh, some more people, plus the 10x team. And there's others like Abel who are also giving tutorials. But uh, look for people either with 10x or with tutor after their name. Uh, Belete is asking a question. Uh, so I'm going to ask you, Belete, to ask that in day two on Slack. Rodas, over to you. OK, thank you, Arun. Uh, it's good to see that everyone is active on day one. So 
we are looking forward for day two also. And we also have our uh, women's session today. Make sure to join all the women. And we also have our week zero schedule pinned on uh, on our channel, on day two channel. So make sure to always check there. And uh, people who are willing to be asked, uh, please send uh, your names. Uh, please, or you can just send your names on the Slack channels so that people will know who to ask. And if you have any issues with our platform, uh, you can forward your uh, issues with your screen capture on the Tenex support uh, channel. So yeah, I think that's all for today. We can uh, wrap up this session. Okay, yeah. I think there's a number of people suggesting pinning important messages. It gets very confusing very quickly. So yeah, I think uh, you guys will figure it out. Pascaline, back to you to wrap up. Thank you so much, Arun, and thanks for the announcement, Rhodes, as well. So everyone, uh, today is going to also be loaded uh, with today's schedule. So ensure that you are checking uh, the cohort A week zero link that is pinned within day two, Tuesday channel there. Just see what we are going to go through. Check on the timing just to ensure that you will be on time on every session and to all women who are here please see you today in the careers team with females applicants just go check there as well ensure that you are aligned with the timing so that you'll be on time and then uh all i can say is, is all the best in today's tasks and uh, remember that we have to be submitting everything that we should be submitting by that would be like 7 p.m utc am i correct arun 8 p.m is 8 p.m utc is our standard uh, so we're going to keep yeah. it easy for you guys 8 a.m utc is the stand up 8 p.m utc is are the hand-ins uh, it'll never change never is maybe too strong but uh shouldn't Absolutely. change 8 p.m utc don't wait to submit until tomorrow if you have any question Please, as said, make sure you are pointing it on the Slack channel. Don't don't wait. Don't hesitate. Just post it there. We will all be here to help you. And uh, I think that is it for today. Please, let's go and get ready for the upcoming session that is starting um, shortly in a few. It's just in a few minutes. So... See you all there. See you on the other side of the call. Can we submit yesterday's challenge? You uh, can. Brody, yeah. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. You can. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, everyone. See you on the other side. Somebody's stopping the recording for us. Somebody will stop. Yes, we're doing right. that. Thanks.